in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed now, this is a very strange language, especially in this, our world today. The world of I, me, myself. To hell with whatever happens to anybody, provided I am enjoying. You will never access the spirit of wisdom, ladies and gentlemen. Ilonia, uh -huh, to what end? Myself. So that I'll have on common insight into the world to what end myself the moment the language is self you will not come there are people who seek all kinds of spiritual virtues not just wisdom alone they seek the anointing they fast and they pray but the corruption that is behind that they just want it to come let us make mortar let us build ourselves a city and a tower whose top will reach the heavens and let us make a it's about Jesus Christ enthroned that everything that flows through you flows to become a blessing You're blessing me for the sake of your people and God says okay I see that you are a faithful treasurer you want me to trust you with the wealth of the kingdom yes Lord you will benefit disappointed me let me find you and he will trust you with dimensions of grace that you may not have known that to exist the third key to access the third condition to access the spirit of wisdom is found in first kings chapter 3 and verse 4 it's called the law of sacrifice solomon offered a thousand bond offerings sacrifice here does not just talk about finances alone there has to be total surrender in this case he offered offerings but there are levels of sacrifice where you are the offering you provide the fire i'll provide the sacrifice listen there are times that god is not looking for what comes from you you are the sacrifice he's looking for you want to receive an investment a rich investment of the spirit of wisdom you must become that sacrifice the bible says i beseech thee brethren by the mercies of the lord that ye offer your bodies unto god a living sacrifice holy and acceptable unto god he calls it your reasonable act of service there are people who bring money and they give god and he says carry your money away what i'm looking for is your heart do you know why because you see the kind of results you command when the spirit of wisdom is at work in you god must have your heart if not it will destroy you the pride that comes from the excellency of that result is the reason why many people do not last as god begins to lift them i'll be showing you the benefits of this spirit i am telling you when the spirit of wisdom comes upon you men will almost worship you because of the kind of result that comes from your life but if you have become that sacrifice you're on the altar and everything that comes through your life only becomes for his glory you can't scam God and play politics with him and say, Lord, just grant me the spirit. Don't worry, I'll return back. He says, no. I have watched men for decades. I know the vulnerability and the tendencies in their hearts. The power of the spirit of wisdom is so, I'm telling you, in one month, one month, your life can so change, your ministry can so change, your business can so change, you will marvel and wonder at what you become. And so before he invests that dimension of grace on you he now tells you sacrifice solomon offered
please look look with me imagine imagine that this entire altar is full of bulls and you are cutting them one by one and heaven is watching one thousand please keep that scripture there verse four one thousand for some of you you think one thousand is not much go and try to buy one ram right now with the current economic situation a healthy well-built ram one i don't know how much they sell but you go and try to buy it or one cow even if someone pushes it down it will stand up but you will still be angry that you paid so much and they're pushing that cow down and here is a man who just watched this and said let's start with 100 and he killed 100 and then he killed 200 and i can imagine the angel saying what is going on here 300 400 and he says no it's not enough add some more i want to show him how much i love him and god is saying it's not about the cows who is doing something to something that is so close to what my son is going to be doing this guy is about to give everything 800 cows or rams 850 900 950 and he still said let's add some more and he said angel stay back you don't need to go i will go myself this kind of sacrifice can i tell you this there are sacrifices both financial and otherwise that are representations of your passion and seriousness with god when you commit yourself to those levels of deep sacrifices you open yourself for encounters do you know there is a level of sacrifice that automatically becomes a covenant psalm 50 verse 5 give it to us please let me show you from scripture it is it's not a covenant that you enter willfully it says gather my saints together unto me those that have made a covenant with me how there is a level of passion and hunger god sees you giving so much for the kingdom and he says you are doing this for me god sees you promoting the kingdom in ways that you are going out of your way like a madman there was something solomon understood and the bible says that night not the next day god came to him and said you are calling me solomon said did i call you he says your sacrifice there are many of you your hearts you have not given anything in your life that has touched the heart of god to really command his presence this is not coercion in any way to inconvenience you but it's the truth can i tell you this behind the uncommon people you see god using world over today there is a dimension of sacrifice hmm. you know most times when people see god using an individual marvelously people begin to think it's just luck or you are lucky or you were fortunate to just find someone who laid hands on you my brothers and my sisters behind every story of genuine lasting exploit is blood dripping on the altar a testament of sacrifice you want to access the spirit of wisdom god must vet you until you die the sacrifice of your time the sacrifice of your reputation the sacrifice of your ego the sacrifice of your resources the sacrifice of your intelligence if it is the wisdom that comes from above you are looking for you have to get to that point where you say lord take everything ask anybody you admire ask anybody who manifests on common dimensions of results there is a sacrifice component as the condition that brought either the anointing or the wisdom of the spirit are we together anoint my everything use my everything i release my everything you have my everything 
Take all of me, all of me. You have my everything. All of me, Lord. You have my everything. You have my everything. Use my everything. I release my everything. Take my everything, say, take all of me, all of me, Lord, you have my everything. Use all of me, all of me, Lord. Sacrifice. Listen, you know you have given all when there is nothing left again. Abraham, take thy son thy only son whom thou lovest take your reputation the only one that you spent 30 years building take it to a mountain take your resources the one that you pride on oh it is by my strength that i'm a millionaire by my strength i'm a billionaire look what my intelligence has given me and god says if it's business you want to do with me let me show you how we do business in this kingdom i do not come to people who are strong when my strength finds strength it goes back it waits until you are empty let me tell you this there's nothing wrong with confession but there is a mistake we keep making in the body of christ there are times respectfully speaking not to mock or spite it but this blind claiming that we claim everything just like that no there are positive confessions but there are foolish claims that never lead to any results there is a real price not everything is a gift there are things that are rewards and if we do not balance this we will continue to mock ourselves jumping up and down and never be able to command results You want the spirit of wisdom lavishly at work in your life sacrifice so that god can call you today listen god can call you and say help them please he says you are a billionaire but i want you to leave that meeting come and you say yes sir after all i was dead before they even knew me hear me man of god if you want the spirit of wisdom to come upon you to command exploits in ministry it's more than a bible school it's more than just hands being laid on you death sacrifice there is nothing in my life today i tell you sincerely by the god of heaven there is nothing in my life today that i cannot give god nothing and be careful don't say that because god will vet you God take everything he says thank you he knows what to touch it's easy to give Ishmael you can say Ishmael leave but he says it's not Ishmael I want take Isaac Isaac is a symbol of your future Isaac is a symbol of your reputation Isaac is a symbol the epicenter of your self-worth take it to a mountain if it's power you want in this kingdom if it's an investment of the spirit you want this one is not something you claim this one is a cup you drink and a baptism you are baptized into you want the spirit of wisdom to be at work in you the grace that subdues systems and structures dominion at a level and a frequency that confounds principalities and powers this one comes from above I cast my crown before the highest royalty. I am undone before your glorious majesty. You're the King of kings and Lord of lords. You are the King of kings. You are 
the Lord. Your royal majesty. Ya bole na kao. Sujada ne na kao. There is something I know about sacrifice. Sacrifice is a magnet. It can call dimensions of God. There were people who encountered wisdom at the frequency of desperation and sacrifice. Please sit down. We'll soon be praying. Let me share with you an encounter one time. I don't like to tell too much of my stories because I like for people to place their faith on the Word of God and not just the experience of a man but sometimes it's good to bring some of these encounters I remember when I was passionately praying and desperately seeking for the spirit of wisdom in my life I had seen fathers of faith I studied the largest churches in all the continents at that time and I saw profound display of wisdom in businessmen people in ministry i took out time to pray and pray and i said lord please grant by your spirit if this is true let the holy spirit reveal himself as the spirit of wisdom in this life the apostolic call has the spirit of wisdom as the principal signature more than the miraculous because of the ministry of spiritual governance and I had an encounter that night. Listen very carefully. I was, there was a long queue of people and I was serving bread. And this bread was full of honey inside. Like you put um, jam or butter or something, you know. And then there was a machine there. This was how God gave me a revelation of the spirit of wisdom. There was a machine there that was producing the bread. It came out automatic with, the, with honey, dripping with honey. And I was collecting it and I was serving people. There was a long queue. But the shock was that the people were not seeing the machine. So they were looking at me. Where is this guy getting this thing from? I kept giving them. I kept giving them. I kept giving them. I kept giving them. I was surprised myself. The machine just produces it. I pick it up and give them. And they were eating. They were people who were hungry. You could look at their hunger, ravaged faces. They were there, desperate and thirsty. And that was when I knew by the Spirit that I had received an impartation of this grace. There is such a grace called the Spirit of Wisdom where God will come to you in the night and just say, this is how the next five years will be. Just do this. This is why there is no boasting. No. When the spirit of wisdom comes upon you, your life will look deceptively slow. Except that one step you take under the influence of that spirit will be 10 years in one. Pay attention to what I'm telling you. The spirit of wisdom. sacrifice many of us do not pay attention to the sacrifice dimension of wisdom let me give you the fourth i gave you four conditions number one passionate love for god and his agenda number two a sincere passionate desire to be a blessing number three sacrifice of your time your resources anything the goal of that sacrifice is to bring you to a point of surrender and death to yourself. And then number four, you receive this wisdom by asking of the Lord. First Kings, again, chapter 3 and verse 9. Four conditions. You do not receive the spirit of wisdom if you do not ask. Give therefore thy servant 
an understanding heart give therefore joshua selman the spirit of wisdom to be able to effectively birth the things that you desire to be birthed through this life james chapter 1 and verse 5 still on asking asking is a very important component in the kingdom it says if any of you lack wisdom let him not let him ask of a man of god who has it no the man of god who has it is not the source of the wisdom he's only the channel that the spirit flows through the person you ask is the owner not the caretaker many of us are asking the caretakers that's not your assignment you are not called to go and look for people just by default you ask the owner lord everything belongs to you i desire the spirit of wisdom it is that owner now who knows his authorized dealers go to them that sell and buy but there must be someone who tells you go to them that sell not everybody is in need there are people who have it go to them that sell and buy if you lack wisdom ask of god that give it to all men how many men this manifestation of wisdom is not for men of god it's not for those in ministry it's not for those in business it's for everyone who seeks to see jesus revealed and glorified in and through your life that you want to accomplish you want to fulfill destiny he says he gives liberally and upbraided not and it shall be given to him because the law is for everyone that asketh, he shall receive. Everyone that seeketh, he shall find. And to him that knocketh, he says the door shall be opened. Ask of the Lord. There are times that you can lock yourself and pray and say, Father, I confess before you that my life is limited. The reason why my finances are down is not because of the economy. The finances are down because of my belief systems. There is, there is the absence of wisdom. Even if the economy changes, it will not affect me. I need wisdom. The reason why I am down is because wisdom has not elevated me to the throne. By me, kings reign. And princes decree justice. Lord, I ask you for wisdom. Mm. Grant me the spirit of wisdom. And God says, I have seen your heart. You love me passionately. I have seen how selfless you are. I've seen how sacrificial you are. Now let me recommend you to a place where you can get that wisdom. Come for koinonia. And you will access the spirit of wisdom. One of the ways that God exposes you to the spirit of wisdom is to bring you to the atmosphere where that spirit is at work. That's what happened to Saul in the Bible. To go to a garrison of the prophets. You just go and stand there. If you want to receive a miracle in a crusade ground, you have to go near, go close where God is ministering. The probability of you receiving is highest when you are close there. Are we learning? Praise the name of the Lord. Now, let me wrap up before we pray very quickly. The character of wisdom is such that there is a system of expressing it. It's not enough to have wisdom. You must know how wisdom, the outworkings of wisdom, I call it. You must know and you must learn how wisdom manifests. Are we together now? So even if you have received that investment of the spirit, there you have to understand the dynamics of releasing the, the spirit of wisdom and i want to give it to you very quickly number one wisdom is revealed and released in the believer through number one the sacrifice of meditation the sacrifice of meditation proverbs chapter 18 and verse 1 Please understand, don't confuse what we're dealing with now. How do I release the wisdom that has now come? I have received it, but I need it to find expression 
through desire a man having separated himself the bible says he seeketh and intermeddleth with all wisdom wisdom is dimensional meditation can give you every dimension of wisdom divine direction is a subset of wisdom divine strategies is a subset of wisdom Daniel chapter 2 please let's look at Daniel chapter 2 we'll begin our reading from verse 14 Daniel chapter 2 and verse 14 please prepare your hearts to receive watch this this was when the king the king slept forgot his dream can you imagine how kings thought those days you forget your dream you slept by yourself on your bed forgot your dream and you are going to kill everybody because you are angry then Daniel answered with counsel and wisdom to Ariok, the captain of the king's guard, which was gone forth to slay the wise men of Babylon. He answered and said unto Ariok, the king's captain, why is the decree so hasty? That means the manifestation of wisdom takes time. Beware of hasty decisions. True wisdom allows the spirit of God to rest upon you. There is a time component to manifesting wisdom god gives speed but he's not hasty he says why is the decree so hasty from the king then ariok made the thing known unto daniel verse 16 then daniel went in listen and desired of the king that he should give him what so when you need wisdom you need time time that comes through meditation the outworkings of wisdom just give me time and I'll bring you a supernatural solution. Even though the spirit of wisdom is upon me, he does not walk carelessly. He walks with time. And that time is spent in meditation. Now watch this. He said that he should give him time and that he would show the king the interpretation. Uh huh. Then Daniel went to his house and made the thing known to Ananiah, Michelle, Azariah, his companions. Verse 18. That they would desire mercies of God, the God of heaven concerning this secret. That Daniel and his followers should not perish with the rest of the wise men of Babylon. 19. Hallelujah. Read with me. Then the secret was the secret revealed unto Daniel in a night vision. You see how the spirit of wisdom works. Meditation. The sacrifice of meditation. Do you know that there are many non-Christian sects that understand this principle? They would stay for a long time with a clean sheet. Find out some of the top CEOs of conglomerates around the world. They just sit down. Sometimes they go on a vacation. You think they are swimming around and you see them sitting under a tree or somewhere just taking the cool breeze and they are just meditating and sitting quietly. And then one idea comes from heaven that that defines the next 10 years the spirit of wisdom walks through the sacrifice of meditation I cannot begin to tell you ideas things that have come by the spirit of wisdom as I sat down sometimes in the night where everywhere is silent and I just sit down I'm just playing worship like this and I'm quiet do you know the Bible says be still and you will no there is a level of knowledge that comes when you are still lord i don't know how i'm going to do ministry i don't know how to go about this but i give you praise i remember i say some of these things to encourage us it's really no secret i remember when god was preparing us to start the work here one night i, I just sat down and i was just praying and then I kept quiet for more than 30 minutes. And there his voice came, the spirit of wisdom. The Lord made me to buy the map of Abuja, just a map of Abuja, Nigeria, Africa, and the entire globe. And I bought all of them. And he said I should lay my hands and begin to pray and speak over it and speak over the territory. Divine strategies by the spirit of wisdom. And with that childlike behavior, you ask the forces over this territory, what happened? A territory does not just open because you have something to say. There are controlling powers. But one manifestation of the spirit of wisdom can help to keep them where they belong. This is not in an arrogant sense. 
some of you did not inquire from the spirit of wisdom you went alone to start business you had capital and all you did was to open a shop don't feel bad that's why you are here and you just gathered goods and sat down there and he said no do you not know let me tell you how the spirit of wisdom comes it comes largely through scripture you are sitting down wondering why is my business not growing for instance lord why is this not write all the problems and then keep them before the lord writing down the problems is proof that you expect an answer lord i will wait speak to me and one by one his voice will start coming how am i going to raise one billion ten billion for this project and all that i have in my account home and abroad is five hundred thousand and the holy ghost comes with the spirit of wisdom you don't need 10 billion you only need men because money hides in men so don't think you cannot start the project because of money relationships are cheaper go and start learning how to build relationships the spirit of wisdom are you getting what i'm saying now and you get up and say okay lord what do i do and he says here's the deal i will grant you favor and i will connect you with gatekeepers start from there and the next thing you enter your office and a ceo that you have no business knowing and you remember that was my deal and because you have mastered relationships you understand the law of honor good afternoon sir and the spirit of god rides through your understanding and makes the man to say who are you you're a young man you look visionary what do you do he says sir well we thank god I'm, I'm still putting plans together see me tomorrow a connection has begun that will let her birth you to become a billionaire when people ask you and you say i don't know you are right but you are wrong don't tell them you don't know it's a manifestation of the spirit of wisdom one thing connecting to the other someone can sit down and your life is not moving forward and you sit down meditating lord there has to be a way no matter how long there is a way and i trust you this is why i am here suddenly the spirit of wisdom comes breathes upon you james chapter 2 and verse 26 let me tell you why you have been failing there is no spirit component to what you are doing a body without a spirit is dead your shop is only a body there is no spirit back in it your political career is only a body there is no spirit back in it oh dear politician your intelligence is only a body there is no spirit back in it so when you introduce the spirit component to anything you are doing you now give it life wisdom has come to you the sacrifice of meditation number two how do you access the spirit of wisdom luke chapter 21 and verse 15 let's look at amplify ways that you access the spirit of wisdom listen carefully is as you open your mouth to speak by faith it says i will give you a mouth and such utterance and wisdom that all of your foes combined will be unable to stand or refute there are many times you have to go by faith you are in the boardroom and now you are about to speak and wisdom works like word of knowledge you at the point you do not even know what to say yet but by faith and in the name of jesus believing you have the investment of that spirit you open your mouth and you begin to communicate things that later on you will have to listen to what you said yourself because you know you are not the one speaking this is how many people got jobs they went by faith because the spirit of wisdom was there and they had all kinds of executives sitting there and they were standing there though shaking like a leaf they believed they were not alone young man what do you intend to do for this company and the person does not know what to say and suddenly here he comes and boldness and you begin to speak and articulate with such level of uncanny intelligence this is what i seek to bring this is what i seek to bring and they look at you and say where have you been when you go out of that place you can't even remember what you said open your mouth and i will feel it i 
are you learning something when you open up your mouth matthew chapter 10 please from verse 19 and 20 when you speak and you make decisions you give room for the spirit of wisdom to come up it says but when they deliver you up take no thought how or what ye shall speak for it shall be given you in that same hour what ye shall speak verse 20 it says for it is not ye that speak hallelujah but the spirit of your father which speaketh in you i was in bonnie bonnie island a few maybe a month or two ago and i had a wonderful tour you know they just showed us the oldest cathedral and when they were talking about one i think it was uh, bishop joseph johnson now i think i hope i got that right and there was a pulpit there and uh, the people who were helping us with the tour were just explaining something that happened the guy prepared his notes and he was going to preach and i think something i don't know what it is that happened and maybe he lost his notes or something and he stood there he was shaking he did not know what to say and fire just came and the spirit of wisdom and revelation came upon that man and he began to speak that was how his first message came can I tell you, there are times you have to close your eyes by faith and just say something. You will find out that it did not come out as foolish as you thought it would be. Because the Holy Spirit edited it before it came out. Number three. How does the outworking of the spirit of wisdom how does it work creative thinking write it down innovative and creative thinking job chapter 32 and verse 8 this is the young man elihu speaking job 32 here's what he had to say but there is a spirit in a man or a man and the inspiration everyone please say inspiration creative thinking is powerful this is not about businessmen this is how the mind works the mind was designed to birth supernatural possibilities the moment you drop it in that atmosphere where there is an incubation of destiny altering ideas innovations creative thinking you are a leader here you're a captain of industry find time where you just move away from people and be alone and begin to think allow the holy spirit brood over your mind that's what it means to think creatively in the name of jesus christ what is the next step to this church what is the next step to this company what is the next step to preserving the purposes of god as committed to me and ideas begin to come from your spirit and then one of the ways that god brings draws out this manifestation of wisdom within us is through dreams and visions hebrews chapter 1 verse 1 please when the spirit of wisdom is at work in you do not downplay the power of dreams and visions god who at sundry times and in diverse manners listen carefully he spake in the time past unto the fathers by the prophets by the prophets so he used the prophetic he used dreams and visions i think it's um what's the scripture that says i have used similitudes i have multiplied visions similitudes you can go to bed and suddenly find yourself and the holy spirit is revealing this to you like he did to daniel in chapter 2 and verse 19 then the secret was revealed unto daniel was it not joseph that went to bed and had a dream and his whole destiny played before him i saw the sun the moon and 11 stars many of us lose touch we lose the opportunity to release the spirit of wisdom because when we get up with prophetic dreams and visions and encounters we do not document them let me tell you this every time you wake up and you find out that god gave you a dream that you know is prophetic you see the way dreams and visions we have a series on that the way dreams and visions work is you can see part one of that vision in 2017 and keep it the part two will come in 2022 
and then you now join it and it makes sense if you do not respect the first part you will not see the second part dreams and vision seldom come complete they come in part because we see in part but you must respect the parts that god has shown you okay god told you you are getting into ministry but he did not tell you the kind of ministry he did not tell you the location he did not tell you the dimension respect the one you have seen so far write it down and start praying over it then another part will come god told you you are going to become a great politician you are going to lead nations you're going to lead territories he didn't tell you in what capacity respect the part he gave you and put it down he says write the vision write the vision before you write the vision, you must receive the vision. When you receive the vision, your next assignment is to write it down. Are we blessed? Very, very important. Dreams and visions. Now, Proverbs chapter 24 from verse 3 and 4. We're looking at the excellency as we prepare to pray now. The excellency of possessing or walking in partnership with the spirit of wisdom. Number one, it says through wisdom is a house built and by understanding it is established. Please give us verse 3 in Amplified. Amplified. It says through skillful and godly wisdom is a house a life a home a family built and by understanding it is established on a sound and a good foundation anything is built by wisdom once it has to do with building whether physically emotionally spiritually financially anything that needs to be built the architect is wisdom you cannot ignore wisdom and expect to build anything that lasts you want to build a ministry that lasts you want to build a business that lasts you want to build a kingdom influence that lasts it will come through the platform of divine wisdom now for study let's just look at one scripture first Kings chapter 3 now we'll look at verse 15 then we'll start from 16 down to 28 that will be our last scripture and then we'll pray now watch this so all that was happening was a dream by the time we get to 15 solomon woke up my god spiritual things are so powerful imagine if you were solomon's friend and both of you slept on the same bed you would not know that something of destiny value he would just wake up and stretch himself except that he's not the same person who went to bed and solomon awoke and behold it was a dream and he came to jerusalem watch this and stood before the ark of the covenant of the lord and offered up bond offerings what a man he offered bond offerings for the dream to come when he woke up he offered bond offerings for it to still begin to manifest he made a feast to all his servants next verse verse 16 now this will be the first test of the presence of this dimension of wisdom there's a lesson to learn here and we round up you can know that the spirit of wisdom has come upon you in solomon's case it's about to be tested there came two women that were harlots unto the king and stood before him this is a difficult situation right now and the one woman said oh my lord i and this woman dwell in one house and i was delivered of a child with her in the house uh-huh and it came to pass the third day after i was delivered that this woman was delivered also and we were together there was no stranger with us in the house terrible because there is no witness now so this is a complicated case there's no witness save the two of us in the house 19 and this woman's child died in the night because she overlaid it that means she laid on the child till the child died are you following this difficult puzzle now 
and she arose at midnight and took my son from beside me huh? while thy handmaid slept and laid it in her bosom and laid her dead child in my bosom are you following the story now and when i arose in the morning to give my child suck behold it was dead but when i considered it in the morning behold it was not my son which did bear 22. the other woman said nay but the living is my son and the dead is thy son and this said no but the dead is thy son and the living is my son and they spoke before the king hmm. can you imagine such a situation two women come to you and they say one my child is dead the other now the king is about to demonstrate the all surpassing excellence of this encounter he's about to know and test for real whether this grace had truly come then said the king the one saith, this is my son that liveth and thy son is the dead and the other saith, nay but thy son is the dead and my son is the living the spirit of wisdom keep this scripture there let me teach you something to learn are you seeing that the king was in a situation right now that it was a dilemma he was not in the room with them and there was no witness there was nobody to call only two women and their two sons now they are in a very serious argument whatever the king did at that point would go around the nation he could lose his reputation at that point what do you then do there are times when the situation that stands before you defies what you know it would defy what you studied it would defy the physical connection at that time you will need to outsource the spirit of wisdom notice the character of the spirit of wisdom until the word of the lord came there was no way of discerning but remember that the word of the lord which is also this sword of the spirit is quick and powerful is sharper than any two-edged sword it is able to divide asunder the soul and the spirit and this sword that is the word is the discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the man immediately solomon stood he said i am confused there has to be a yastic bring me the word the moment he carried the word the spirit of wisdom was ready to walk they brought that sword it was the sword of the spirit which is the word of god watch this that means you walk best in wisdom when you stay with the word of god the word of god reveals to you how god thinks and having the mind of christ enhances the manifestation of the spirit of wisdom this is very powerful bring me a sword and they brought the sword before the king now the word of god started testing them watch this the first test to know the real owner watch this now the first test was the test of love and the test of selflessness because all men have self and whoever is the owner of the child must love the child more than their self greater love had no man than this than a man lay down his life for his friend so he said we are going to divide the child in two we will give half to you and half to the other in other words we are going to destroy this vision we are going to destroy this a child yet does not just talk of a human being it can mean anything destroy this vision into half give one to the other give one to this verse 26 watch this then spake the woman who's the living child was unto the king for her bowels yearned upon her son are you seeing compassion and love the moment the word of the lord came into the equation the love test the self test it says oh my love please i love this vision more than my reputation let my reputation die but let the vision live and the king was looking said now we are knowing the real owner the word of god is fine is filtering this i love this son do not allow this son die that I, it took me a long time to have this son and i love him more than my reputation don't worry give the woman the most important thing is let the child live let the vision live the word of god the discerner of the thoughts 
and the intents of the heart and in no wise slay it but the other said let it be neither mine or thine so the real issue was not about the child the real issue was about bitterness it was about envy it was about anger that i am not succeeding so kill this person's child too so that two of us can now not have a child 27 watch this and learn and the king answered and said now that i've used the passion test now that i've used the love test now that i've used the self test this is the real owner she is the mother thereof 28 the bible says and all israel this is the thing about wisdom all israel heard of the judgment which the king had judged and they feared the king for they saw that the wisdom was of god was in him to do judgment what did they see so wisdom can be seen when the wisdom of God rests upon your life, you are not the only one who will know you have it. Everybody around you will know because of the excellence of the judgment that you have. Are you ready to pray? We have about five minutes or so and we are going to pray passionately. Listen, brothers and sisters, every destiny here is at the mercy of the manifestation of this spirit upon it I'd, I'd like you to make sure your heart is open for the next five minutes because you are going to cry many of us are at points right now in our lives our ministries different areas of our lives and the cure to break that stagnancy is the manifestation of the spirit of wisdom the cure to foolishness foolish decisions recycling of pain wisdom lift your voice and begin to thank the lord for the word that you've heard tonight there is such a thing as the spirit of wisdom someone is praying all the overflows following online please pray the spirit of wisdom the spirit of wisdom are you praying thank you father for your word tonight Thank you, Jesus. The spirit of wisdom upon my life, upon my destiny. In the name of Jesus. Admit that you need wisdom higher than that which you have seen at work in your life. It is only those who hunger and thirst that are filled. I'd like you to pray in one minute and say father i declare my need i declare my need for wisdom that comes from above an impartation of this wisdom by the holy spirit i need it to walk in my destiny to walk in my relationships to walk in ministry to walk in governance in leadership oh. if any man lack wisdom let him ask of god if any man lack results let him ask of god are you hallelujah hallelujah believe me when i tell you there is a relation when one accesses this level of wisdom there is no limit to how far your results can go you see the thing about wisdom is just when you think you have exhausted a level another layer of that wisdom is opened it is ever increasing glory by the wisdom of to see the manifestation of the wisdom of god providing supernatural solutions lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray the wisdom of God, the wisdom that cometh from above, that is Shut up, We are going to pray. I told you the spirit of God works, the spirit of wisdom works best upon and with a man who sustains the mind of Christ. The mind of Christ means that you have adopted his value systems as revealed from scripture. You must listen you must be a student of scripture so that the Holy Spirit can find the tools that he will use to reveal the wisdom of God to you 
let this mind be in you philippians chapter 2 and verse 5 which was also in christ jesus permit this mind to be in you you must replace your thinking with the word of god believe me when i tell you that everything around your life will revolve around your belief system the wisdom of god presents the wisest perspective on all matters there are many perspectives but the wisdom of god presents the wisest perspective on all matters you are going to pray lord a passion for the word not only to study it but to have it in me not only to study it but to have it in me to become a living epistle when satan came to jesus the fountain of wisdom he replied by saying it is written even though the holy ghost was upon him but what came out was it is written there is something written that the holy ghost can walk with and make you blessed there is something written that the holy ghost can walk with and make you rise there is something written that the holy ghost can walk with and connect you to strange relationships there is something written that the holy ghost can walk with and bring you to greater levels of the anointing of influence of power there is something written that the holy ghost can walk with and bring you increase in your organization hallelujah praise the name of the lord hallelujah amen and amen now if, if you allow me to do this since I'm, I'm not here alone i'm glad and honored that apostle Goodhart is here i i didn't inform him but I, I hope you're not embarrassed i would want to plead with him even if it's just for a minute to just come and now that there is such an anointing here i'm going to ask him to come i'm also going to plead that reverend akila come he will just speak in one minute just declaring the word of god and the power of god's wisdom to rest upon you and then reverend akila will declare and apostle goodhart will declare and i'll just round up will that be fine please let's honor the lord as the servants of god come up very quickly praise the name of the lord these are veterans of the gospel and reverend akila is going to speak over your life just receive these are men that have been helped by God in various capacities and we trust the workings of God upon their lives and they're going to be making declarations. Reverend Akila will just speak over your life and Apostle Goodhart is going to make that declaration and then we'll just wrap up. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes, sir. In Jesus' name. Our Father, we thank you for this moment we share in your holy presence. Thank you for the word that has gone forth that will not return back void. May there be now a performance of your counsel which we have received tonight in the name of Jesus. I pray God grants you enlargement to receive more of his blessings more of his word in the name of Jesus by this declaration we speak forth every Red Sea standing in front of you let it now split in the name of Jesus by the power of God we command you to walk through dry land to arrive in your promised land in the name of Jesus. Every divine equipment it takes to bring to pass the performance of the counsel of God on your life, receive in the name of Jesus. By the workings of his great spirit, we bring your way the very resources that it takes to fulfill all his counsel for your life in the name of Jesus by reason of the combined anointing in this place now we pray may your heavens remain perpetually open may angels ascend and descend on your matter in the name of Jesus our father and our God it takes only one encounter to change the life of any man 
We believe that by the instrumentality of your word tonight, your sons and daughters in this arena and the multitudes across the nations have had a definite encounter to bring about a change in our lives. Father, thank you for divine suddenlies from the first day of August in the year 2021. We decree and declare the change has come upon your people in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. As your hand came upon one Elijah and guaranteed divine acceleration, guaranteed divine impetus, guaranteed divine speed, and gave such a one divine advantage. By your hand that has come by the release of your word, we decree and declare divine advantage upon this house in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. By your mercy, let the remaining five months of this year be the best of this year in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We decree and declare that the sound of jubilation, the sound of celebration, the sound of rejoicing, will abide abound in our homes in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. By the power of the speakings of your blood, we decree and declare no occasion for tears, no occasion for sorrow, no occasion for fears. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Somebody clap those hands. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Now just standing still under this anointing, I decree and declare in the name of Jesus, according to the measure of grace, the manifestation of the spirit of wisdom that the Lord has so lavishly brought upon this ministry, I decree even as we have received from those who have gone ahead of us in the name that is above all names receive from tonight the spirit of wisdom receive an impartation of the spirit of wisdom let it begin to manifest as extraordinary results in your life the grace to make quality superior decisions that move you forward receive that grace in the name of Jesus by this impartation every mountain and every obstacle that stands before you in the name that is above all names we declare it shattered right now because you have believed I declare that you will begin to see it happen now That everyone around you will know for a shorty that you encountered the spirit of wisdom tonight. Amen. Hear me. In your place of prayer, as you meditate, many of you, the Holy Ghost will come to you like a mighty rushing wind. He will show you the secrets of your destiny. He will reveal to you the strategies and the blueprint for the next level of your life. In the name of Jesus. And I declare that under the influence of the spirit of wisdom, may 10 years be put in one month. Under the influence of the spirit of wisdom, may 10 years be put in one month. That by the end of August, many of you would have made tremendous destiny advancements. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, may your ears hear a voice from behind saying this is the way walking in it and that you find rest by it for your souls in the name of jesus christ the lord will give you a wisdom he will give you a mouthpiece that no one can gain say nor resist in the name of jesus christ in your place of work your homes your ministries may men say what wisdom is this in the name of jesus christ the mighty works that accompany the spirit of wisdom may they begin to happen in your life from tonight and the rewards that follow wisdom 
in the name that is above all names may those rewards come upon you and overtake you in the name of jesus christ father we agree as a family of faith and we agree as the body of christ over this city over this nation over this continent that in a fresh dimension let there be an outpouring and a manifestation of the manifold wisdom of god according to ephesians chapter 3 and verse 10 to the intent that now let it be revealed by the church to principalities and powers the manifold wisdom of god lord this wisdom will be revealed in politics and governance and leadership and finances and relationships and career in the name of jesus christ every aspect of the believer's life will begin to excel on account of this baptism with the spirit of wisdom receive it now in the name of jesus christ amen and amen let's honor and celebrate the servants of god thank you sir thank you for lifting thank you for lifting thank you for lifting my hands thank you for lifting thank you for lifting thank you for lifting my hands the greatest wisdom that a man can show is to run to the fountain of wisdom himself the bible says thou art the fountain of wisdom it says in thy light we see light anyone who is not led by the fountain of wisdom is still in darkness there are people here following online and there are people scattered within this auditorium and all the auditoriums down to the basement some of you may be saying apostle i have heard you speak and i know that i need an encounter with jesus the fountain of wisdom or there are some of you who are saying i love jesus with all my heart but as it is right now i need to rededicate my life my ways to him you may have come from far and near let's minimize movement i'm about to make the altar call wherever you are we have just a minute or two for you i'd like you to run and just come and stand here as we celebrate the lord for your life it is because of you the lord put this meeting do not wait for someone to come win that war tonight are there people coming celebrate them as they come celebrate them as they come anyone listen don't sit back and say um i i think i am all right the moment listen the moment jesus is not lord of your life you cannot access wisdom celebrate them as they come koinonia is this the best you can do run to jesus who is the fountain of wisdom the bible says if any man lack wisdom let him ask of the lord the first wisdom is to receive the free gift of his life translating you from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of his dear son if you're still coming come quickly if you're still coming come quickly young and old alike come to jesus for as many who will come to him he will in no wise cast away the bible says all the overflows just stand in front of your screen for time and those following you who is following in your home your office your living room i like you to be prepared to pray this prayer also i salute every one of you for coming to jesus he never sends people away that you have come to him is proof that you are not a rebel rebels don't come to jesus they run away from him hallelujah lift your right hand every one of you standing in front and i like you to say this prayer after me you're not reciting a poem jesus is here say after me lord jesus if you're joining them please quickly come say lord jesus i love you with all my heart and i believe that you are the son of god I believe that you died for me I believe that you rose again for my justification tonight I declare that you are and you remain my Savior 
my Lord and my King. I receive eternal life into my spirit. I receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness. And I declare that I reign in life. The power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over my life. Now and forever. Amen. Keep your hands lifted. Father, we thank you for these ones. You have brought them by your spirit. They have come to the fountain of wisdom. Jesus himself. I decree and declare by the authority of scripture that your sins are forgiven. In the name of Jesus from tonight the Lord gives you a new beginning and I decree and declare that you are recipients of the life of God you are part of the family of faith and from today I declare that you go forward ever and backward never in the name of Jesus Christ amen and amen thank you for making this wonderful decision now there are counselors waving the placard there I like you to please just follow them and there'll be a few people who will just talk to you Koinonia uh, please celebrate them celebrate every one of them the little one someone just help them make sure that there's someone watching over them praise the name of the Lord hallelujah dearly beloved I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.